That's right, I got your juicy entertainment news for Wednesday. Chris Brown's legal issues just continue to pile on. Just weeks after he was accused of slapping the weave off of a woman's head, he is now facing another lawsuit from a former housekeeper. Um, she's filed a lawsuit against Chris Brown on allegations that she was attacked by one of his dogs. Now, the woman who filed the lawsuit has filed it as Jane Doe and said that his uh, shepherd viciously mauled her while she was working at his place. She said that she was taking out the trash when the dog started to attack, said it uh, tore through her skin and ripped chunks of her flesh off of her face, arms, and her body. And she's also accused Chris Brown of ignoring her pleas for help. She said Chris and his uh, boys were in the house when it happened and no one ever came outside when she was screaming. The lawsuit states that she was left in a pool of her own blood once the dog stopped attacking her. And she has accused Chris Brown and uh, his boys of attempting to hide evidence and trying to clear the scene. She added that Chris Brown told the police that he didn't know what happened or where the dogs were uh, when they showed up and when the ambulance came. And uh, apparently the dog was euthanized weeks later by the uh, Sheriff County um, Office Animal Shelter, which was miles from where Chris Brown actually lives. Now the housekeeper is suing Chris Brown for major damages, claiming that she had to undergo serious surgery and that the attack resulted in permanent scars. Her husband is also suing Chris Brown for losing the ability to have the love and partnership of his wife because of the attack. And it gets better, and so is her sister, who has filed a lawsuit on claims that the attack made her suffer from PTSD. Um, last night was a very emotional night on America's Got Talent. Uh, Matt Mauser, who lost his wife in the helicopter crash that also killed Kobe and Gigi Bryant, gave an emotional audition for America's Got Talent last night. He shared his story with the judges and uh, before singing a rendition of Against All Odds by Phil Collin. And, uh, he got pretty teared up before he started to perform the cover. He brought his three children on stage. And not only was his story powerful, but man, he can sing. He gave it his all. He got a standing ovation from the judges in the audience. And uh, there was not a dry eye in the house. Uh, of course, he got all yeses to move on to the next round. And he said he hopes to inspire his children by being on the show. And he will donate all of the winnings to his wife's foundation if he ends up winning the $1 million prize. Uh, Bill Cosby is jumping right back into show business now that he's out of prison. He's working on a docuseries about himself. It's a five-part docuseries that will cover his life, legacy, trial, and prison experience. He's also writing a book with novelist Frederick Williams that will be focusing on his criminal case and prison experience. And are you ready for this? He wants to get back on the stage. He's planning to return to stand-up comedy. 83 years old and he wants to hit the road and tell jokes. Um, he's also contacted several promoters and comedy clubs who are open to the idea. The comedy tour is not the only thing that Cosby has in mind. He also wants to go around the country making appearances in prison, schools, and neighborhoods, talking to folks about being better citizens and curbing violence. He said the inspiration for the speaking tour draws from his own experience behind bars where he heard moving stories from other inmates like father and son who were serving time together. And of course, um, you know, he could still make thousands of dollars for appearances just like OJ has. But of course, that will all depend on the public's interest in seeing Bill Cosby. And that's your Juicy Entertainment News for Wednesday. Lock it in again tomorrow for more of the juice right here on the all-new KISS 96.